It's no longer news that the Southern Governors has reached a consensus in the last meeting that was held in Lagos a few days ago that the next president of the country should come from the region, among many other important discussions. It's also pertinent to recall that the Northern Governors Forum had their meeting as regards the presidency zoning as well. According to reports, the Northern Governors Forum disagreed that the 2023 president must come from the South, claiming that presidency should be based on who has the qualities and not the other way around. Many top media news also reported that the governor of Bornu, Babagana Umazulom, was in support of the Northern Governors Agreement. However, Joe Igbokwe has recently taken up to his Facebook page to reveal the relationship between Uma Zulom and APC national leader Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The controversial Igbo man who appears to be in be a core Buhari supporter and an APC loyalist revealed the details of the meeting between the two. He said that the governor in a meeting with Tinubu has agreed to support the Southern Presidency giving his 100% assurance just few days after he openly criticized the decision. If Governor Zulong truly wants to support the Southern Presidency, then he would have to betray his kinsmen, other northern governors, to do this. However, putting into consideration the loyalty of the northerners to each other, it is possible that the governor is just deceiving Tinubu, leading him on and planning to back off when it matters most. The alleged union between the two is likely to become that of a cat and dog. Well, uh, We've received prophecy that uh, Mbola Tinubu uh, should not be deceived. Prime Minister Adele has stated this, that Mbola Tinubu should not be deceived. That those who are pushing him forward, saying um, Presidency 2023 will support you, that they are just deceiving him, that they are waiting for him to be disgraced. And uh, Prime Minister Adele stated it categorically that if Tinubu dares contest that he's going to be embarrassed, he's going to be disgraced at the end of the day. What is happening right now is that uh, we know Tinubu very well that he's got interest in 2023, although he has never come out at any point in time to openly um, speak about his interest in 2023. But we've seen him campaigning uh, in, in disguise, in different ways. You know, his birthday uh, that he took to the North to celebrate. And after the birthday, we saw him making donations to Northern Governors, Castina State Governor, to be more precise, after the fire, uh, the market fire incident. And after that, we saw that a bag of rice was being distributed with his picture, but he denied it that um, it's just um, people who are his loyalists who are doing all of those that he doesn't have any hand in that. So he's never spoken about his interest, but we've seen his body language and the way he's been speaking and the way he's been uh, uh, befriending the Northern governors, just in case he's rejected um, by the Southerners. That is why we've been seeing all of this, his recent move. Well, from the Monday meeting by Southern governors, immediately they made their position. They stated all of their demands. You know, they made a lot of demands, but the, the one that has been the main topic was 2023 because we know a lot of people have interest for 2023. They talked about open grazing, the ban. They talked about um, the petroleum industry um, bill, um, PIB. They talked about uh, uh, other things as well. They spoke about the raid on Sunday Gore's house, but we know they didn't mention name. Hmm. Nigerians criticized them for that as well. That what was their agenda? What were they trying to achieve for not speaking directly? We know they just told presidency that should you want to carry out this attack in the future, let inform us before you carry any attack. Inform the state governor. So they spoke about um, a whole lot of issues. But this 2023 one, ah, it didn't land well uh, with northerners. It left a sour taste in their mouth and they've been reacting differently. We saw their reaction from different angles. Northern elders forum, northern governors, they've all been speaking about it. Well, um, Governor Zulom <laughs> kicked against it immediately as well. That is uh, Baba Ghana. Zulom, he kicked against it very well. Recently, uh, it was revealed that um, Zulom and Bola Tinubu were in a meeting. Details of that meeting was not in the open, but um, what emerged from that meeting was that uh, Zulom takes a U-turn stating that uh, he has vowed to give uh, the South, he has vowed to give Southern Presidency 100% support. So what has changed from the time... Uh, 
he made his initial statement that he kicked against this. And one thing that is also known in the North is that um, they, they work together. So the speculations going on is that uh, it's very possible, it's very likely that um, Zulom is just leading Bola Tinubu on. This, uh, the, the, the relationship going on between them. He's just leading Tinubu on and his recent comment that um, he's going to give 100% to Southern Presidency. When we know that majority of the Northern Governors, they've all kicked against it. President Mohamed Bouhari has kicked against it. Uh, uh, politicians, well-meaning citizens, uh, they've kicked against it. That's from the North. They've all kicked against it, spoken against it. So, um, it's very, very shocking, very surprising that um, Zulom is stating that um, he's going to support Southern Presidency. It was um, Joe Igbokwe. He's an Igbo man, but very controversial. <laughs> a loyalist to the core. APC loyalist and also a loyalist to President Mohamed Buhari. We know uh, the position he, he, he has taken regarding the agitation, regarding the rearrest of Nam Kano. And um, with all of the... All the things we can see, we can see very well that he's a loyalist of President Mohamed Buhari. Being a loyalist of President Mohamed Buhari, obviously we know he would hardly kick against or oppose anything President Mohamed Buhari says. He was the one that made this um, revelation on his Facebook page that um, uh, Zulom has given his support to Bola Tinubu. But for Zulom himself, could it be that he's, uh, he's just decided to work against the northern governors or they have a plan? The national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Asiwaji Bola Tinubu, we know that um, he's been lamenting before now, you know, after the, uh, um, the dissolution of the National Working Committee, the, the structure of the party that has changed, the, the caretaker committee that is in charge of the party. And it looks like all of the... Um, influence he has on the party has been reduced so he doesn't really have much influence in the party and then um, the speculations are that APC itself as a party they don't want to support Bola Tinubu they don't want to go his way even if he's not coming out in the open they don't want to support him for reasons uh, they that are unknown they not state it's not reason the reasons are not really out there but their body language and everything they've been doing we know that um, they're not in support of Bola Tinubu but the other thing there is that um, even if APC is supporting Tinubu, what about Nigerians? What about the electorate? Nigerians still have their reservation for this former governor, two-time governor of Lagos State. He served eight years, and people are still asking to know that um, Bola Tinubu, what did you do for Lagos State? What did you do for Lagos State, and you want to become president? Well, we'll see how all of this plays out if um, Zulom is just trying to lead Bola Tinubu on or if they have um, some other agenda. But we know that the Southern governors, they are firm on their resolve that um, 2023 presidency should emerge from the South. And by them stating the South, they didn't. it was in the Southwest they were talking about because the Southwest has had its chair in the person of Olushego Basenjo. So it was actually Southeast. So I don't know how Tinubu is going to crack this or break through. But we'll see how all of this plays out. Let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.